The question about physical media and digital media rages on, but it looks like more and more, I mean, that battle is kind of moot because even now Best Buy is, according to reports, going to stop selling physical media. Best Buy, which by the way, I didn't know this before, represents 45%. One outlet represents 45% of all physical media sales that still happen today. The other 55 is Robert Meyer Burnett. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. He's selling them out of the back of his car yeah. in the parking lot. Here he goes, you want a, you want a little uh, heat? So <laughs> uh, this is not good news at all, according to support. This comes to us from Engadget, who writes the following. To fight to keep DVD sales going, or as you say, the fight to keep DVD sales going, is taking another big hit. Best Buy is allegedly ending all physical media sales. That means Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K Ultra HD, in-store and online, the digital bits uh, reported. Multiple sources claim that the move will occur in early 2024, possibly as soon as the first quarter. The news of Best Buy's decision comes only a few weeks after Netflix ended its 25-year DVD delivery service, sending out its final copies on September 29th. And, you know, it's really just been, if you are a physical media fan, a domino effect of horrors has been going on, right? Everything from the biggest manufacturers of Blu-ray content stopping production to then we just heard recently like Disney's no longer going to sell physical media to an entire continent, to Australia. Of course, the... The fact that Netflix's DVD services has now officially come to, to an end, even though most people th thought it probably ended ages ago. And now the single biggest retailer of physical media, according to these reports at any rate, are no longer going to sell physical media. Now, look, when this discussion comes up about whether or not physical media is going away, and I've mentioned this before, people will kind of try to shift the conversation to should physical media go away? And listen, I'm not a physical media guy. I abandoned physical media a long time ago and I've never regretted it. It's been happiness and sunshine ever since for me. But even I recognize the inherent value of still having physical media out there. But I mean, it's just a ticking clock. Like as Robert Meyer Burnett has often pointed out, it's at an exponential rate that it's disappearing every year. And Having the biggest retail of physical media, again, if this report coming out of Egg and Gadget is true, then I don't see physical media being available for three more years. Like, I think maybe in the next three years, you can pick up some physical media somewhere, but without Walmart there, 45% of the market, gone. Now that'll create a boon to Redbox for a little while. They still exist. That'll create a little bit of a boon for maybe Target, but there have been reports coming out that they're gonna start phasing out physical media as well. Guys, we wanna take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before, before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia i mean chris i don't know if there has been a bigger larger louder death knell for physical media than this report like mm -hmm. even i think it was at samsung that got out of the blu-ray manufacturing business one of the big companies that was big mm -hmm. i think this is bigger what's your reaction to this well i do know back in august walmart mm -hmm. was in talks of picking up some dvd distribution so physical media could be moving to those kind of big overstock kind of stores like a walmart like a target like costco even yeah but 
Yeah, Costco. Ooh, yeah. those rotisserie chickens and those TVs. <laughs> and the hot dogs. <laughs> if you want a hot dog and an 85-inch screen TV, go to Costco. That's the place to go. It's the best day ever. The death of physical media, though, it, it's sad, but it makes sense. You know, in business, it's all about supply and demand, and there just has not been the demand for physical media. What's upsetting about it, though, is the thought that certain things now will never be accessible again. Mm. Anything that was a straight-to-streaming piece, you know, the world according to Jeff Goldblum. I love that show. I will never be able to watch that. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Jeff Goldblum might not be able to watch that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so that's one of the things that's very upsetting is, is the idea that art was created in this vacuum that then just kind of imploded into itself like a dwarf star. That's very upsetting to just no longer think that something can exist anymore. Um, Cause that's not the nature of art. Art is meant to be seen. Whether or not everyone likes it, enjoys it, that's up for the person who's experiencing it, right? But I think it still deserves the, the chance to be seen and exist. So that's the only part that I get really hung up on of, oh wow, there's just this void where something used to be then. But if people aren't buying DVDs, if we have, this laptop has no disk drive in it, you know, I have to plug something in. We don't make tech that plays and supports these and we don't have people clamoring for them every year. So I understand it, but it still makes me a little sad. You know, it's funny, piggybacking on what you said, it's almost like the the promise of streaming. One of the promises of streaming when it was coming out was that everything will always be available. It's just got to sit on a hard drive somewhere. Mm -hmm. And if I want to watch the Pirates of Penzance, I, I will be able, and I'm not talking about the original, I'm talking about like the early 1980s remake. I should be able to just hop online, find it somewhere, and it'll be there. Of course... Yeah. We were so young and naive. We didn't realize yeah. that licensing fees and all this kind of stuff that it would actually cost well, the studios money. That's just it, right? Because like you could, you could say like, well, the Disney Vault or a Paramount Plus has the Paramount Vault, but Paramount is one of those where I feel like might be consolidated into a larger streamer someday, and then you have to license it out, mm -hmm. and so now that vault is scattered. So, and, and the thing is, like, they just I think they just revealed the new PS Five, the new Slim version. Yeah. The the actual um, drive, the disc drive, is actually a, an, an attachment that you buy now. Well, hasn't um, the PS5 from the beginning been, you have your version without the disc you drive You have one at all? with and without. Because yeah, yeah, even games, you don't need the discs anymore. You can just download them from their servers. But now it's just you buy the digital, and I believe it's not, you have not even, to put the attachment yeah. on there in order. So it's like an option now, and it's there's not like a pre-made console. Yeah. It's an actual attachment. It makes so. sense because now they can sell those attachments or just sell you the digital version. Yeah. You know what? They should, be because of the importance of the art, I can't help but feel like maybe they should pass some sort of law that says, look, if you if a piece of uh, entertainment is created under the auspices of the MPA or the MPTP or whatever, that there's some sort of law that that has to be in some way, shape or form made available to people in perpetuity. Yeah. Like something like not that HBO Max has to have it on Max and pay out whatever fees, but like maybe the MPTP should do something constructive and come together and say, we're going to create a vault depository mm -hmm. of all the stuff that we don't carry on our individual's things, but they can still exist over here for a fee or something. I, let, I don't know. I would like to see something like that Let public happen. libraries have them. Yeah. Let, let public libraries have access to certain types of media that's no longer streamed other places. Oh, and that way it's great. accessible to people. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.